Hi and welcome to this lesson. This is going to be a two in one. You're going to learn about outputs and attributes at the same time. So sticking with our example in the variables file, what I'm going to do now is show you outputs. With autocomplete we have output here, so I'm going to click on that and we give it a name. So I'm going to call this my output. And then we give it a value. And one of the main advantages of output is we can get details about the resources we've created. So one example might be the VPC ID. So in order to get that, it follows this format. It's the resource name, AWS underscore VPC dot the name. In this case, it's my VPC. And then the attribute we want to access. Now with the autocomplete plugin, it gives me a few options, but the one I'm after is ID. To find out more about the attributes we can access, we can find them on the Terraform documentation. And here we have the attribute references. And what we're using here is ID. So now if we go back to our code, this is the key thing. When we run Terraform apply, we'll get the value of the ID. And the reason it won't work in plan is because we haven't actually created the VPC. It's a computed value. So when we run Terraform apply, once it's completed, it will then show us the value of a VPC ID. But let's go ahead and rename this output to VPC ID. So we have a bit more context. And now let's go ahead and run it. Go to our integrated terminal. I'm already inside the variables folder. So now let's run Terraform plan. Set the input name of the VPC. So I'm gonna call this input VPC. And do you notice we get no output? That's because we haven't created the VPC yet. So now let's go ahead and run Terraform apply. And we'll set that to input test. Enter yes to go ahead and create it. As we can see here, the VPC ID has been created and it's now been output. So again, we've covered two things in this, what outputs are, how we use them, and how we access attributes. And it's a really key thing in Terraform. It's a resource type, the name we've given it, and the attribute. Now let's go ahead and run Terraform Destroy. Enter yes. Awesome, and there we go, that wraps up this lesson. If you want to learn Terraform in depth with hands-on challenges and even get certified, make sure to go to warp-9.com.